Oh, look, we've got a countdown. So apparently these couple of cunts can't be bothered to press record. Um, also, you can edit it, so I'm not really sure what I'm saying. So, anyway, um, welcome to... I don't know why I'm introducing it. Welcome, this is the Fat Boy YouTube show, yeah? No, I'm fucking here, man. Look, I've got my backwards Sorry. cap, I'm fucking sorted. I'm here with Tim Westwood. I've got some sandwiches, I've got some red wine. Here we go. Stu, YouTube, Stu, bang. Stu, Stu. If that's Tim Westwood... Stu, wait, 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 Stu. I know he failed. Yeah, you did really well apart from it's called the Fat Lad Show, not the Fat Boy Show. So let me do it. Welcome to the Fat Lad Show, guys. I'm with Reese, my main G, and I'm with my certified G, the top dog, the one and only Stewie Creswell. Now let's hit this properly and get the boogie on. The boogie on. No, because he did the boogie for too long and also he paused before, so. What's going on, people? So welcome back to another video. And, well, we've just got some, possibly the two coolest people that I know. So, this is Stuart. You want to kind of introduce yourself and what you're like? Um, hello, my, my name is Stuart. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a very humble human being. Um, a man of few words. Um, I, d I, d I don't buy into that whole ego sort of, oh, look at me, let's all do that. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I'm just, I'm just myself at the end of the day. I don't know about you guys. No, I'm going to introduce it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not understand? <laughs> I don't right. understand. So this but. is, um, this is. I hope this never gets edited so that we can just loot this. It's just a moron. So the other coolest person on this earth, I know, is Liam. Liam Copeland. He loves, uh, I suppose, hardcore metal and... What no, no he's, he likes hardcore and hip-hop. He doesn't like metal. metal. He doesn't like metal. He's never even listened to a Slipknot song. Anyway, go on. Fucking pony. <laughs> we won't get into this because after what happened a couple of days ago. Well, you kind of. That's the only thing you like is just hardcore hip hop, really. I like hardcore, I like hip hop. I also like other forms of music, but. Well, I don't no, be that no, because what I said to you was. Do you um, like yodeling? I think I could get that with a bit of yodeling. Anyway, sorry, Reese, go on. <laughs> So, other than liking hardcore music and rap music, he is... Hip hop music, yeah. <laughs> Same thing, I'm no, not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into this it. This will take an hour if we get into this. So yeah, that's what I'm saying, I'm not going to get into yeah. it, because I know for a fact it will take an hour. He is an absolute G, I presume. Ooh. Who? Liam. Pretty much, I have an OG. He, he, he says it all the time, he might as oh. well just class it as Yeah, him. that was self-proclaimed. Certified. <laughs> there you Sorry, go. go on, go on. <laughs> there anyway. you go, self-proclaimed. A self-proclaimed G. Certified G. Self-proclaimed. Self-proclaimed certified. Yeah. yeah. Certified self-proclaimed G. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And he also doesn't give a fucking cert and literally makes any joke under the sun, no matter what the subject is. Everything's funny, really, isn't it? <laughs> Not when you're calling someone a nonce. Oh, if they're a nonce, they're a nonce. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're not a nonce, they're still a nonce in your head. Yep. Because it's just a word. Don't get offended. Um, Sorry, um, I thought yeah. your name was Liam, not Lenny Bruce. <laughs> That's quite good, actually. I appreciate that joke. Thank you, mate. Yeah. Thank you. No, yeah. probably fucking nuts. It's just a word. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you know God. the police are going to come and arrest you for saying nonce on a live performance. Why? I haven't nonced anyone up. You haven't nonced anyone up? <laughs> I'm going to take that bit out. I don't no, know don't take that I out. I don't know whether to lay That's that in or take brilliant. that out. Oh, no. That's probably fucking good. <laughs> So, this question and answer video is going to be a get to know at the same time. So, I, I kind of, I've, I've prepared a few questions in my head whilst, oh, really? yes, whilst pre-planning. Uh, this is the first video I think I've actually pre-planned a little. Well done, mate. I don't, I don't Proud think I've put research in anything. No, 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 I'll just fucking <laughs> well turn up, if no. I'm honest. I mean, I've, I haven't actually pre-planned any videos apart from just now. My beard's looking quite strong. If I'm honest, I, I sort of plan to get sort of inebriated during the podcast, which we just did. And then just, you know, hopefully yeah. be drunk for this. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm proud of you, man. Anyway, go on. Yeah, um, we did a podcast on these guys' channel. Where is it? We the know Life Coach Podcast. Oh, uh, yeah. I know. Well, well done. Proud of you. Life Coach Podcast, uh, they will talk about anything and everything under the sun. This is just going to be the thumbnail now. No, I that affection for fucking uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> So, questions. Yes, yes. yes. I'm about questions. Right. Some of them may get, well, no, none of them will get too personal. None of, and quite a few of them are just going to be some of the stupid things that have gone on throughout life, really. Okay. So, it's kind of, kind of turning into that podcast a little. 
but it's going to be my own thing, so let's do this. Do you want me to answer this in a sort of better way? What if I sort of... You can answer it in any way you want, mate. Right, I'm sorted. <laughs> right, anyway, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the first question to Liam, and then it's just gonna to, it's just gonna go back to you as well. So kind of vice versa. Yeah, so um. Just took a fucking beat. <laughs> chose me first. Yeah. Well, it's because you're on the left side mainly. Yeah, actually, no, you'll, you'll be on the right side. I know. I can literally see you. This is there. you don't understand how to work with Stu. Let Stu go first on everything. Like Stu needs first, to yeah. stroke his ego. No, let him go first. Oh, now sure. he's doing that little mark. You know, I think no, mate. Now he's doing the bar. Go on, let him well, go I was first. actually gonna go back go on. and forth on questions. Go on, let him go first. Back and forth on questions. Let me go first. Go on, ask me a question. Ask me a question. Go on. You're gonna break the table. No, I'm okay. gonna break me foot. Uh, Liam. Yeah. What is the craziest thing that's happened to you at the bar that we work at? Nah, I get stupid questions a lot. I get craziness a lot. Uh, I had a woman the other day, Saturday night, ask me with a menu in her hand, go, "Do you do?" With a menu from our pub, do you do food like this in this menu? Yeah, we do. The food that's exactly in that menu, you fucking mongoloid. <coughs> By the way, a little fact about mongoloids. I'm actually allowed to say it because it's actually not about special people originally. It's from people that from me, from our country that looked like they were from Mongolia. There's a little fucking fact for you motherfuckers that think I can't say it. Mongoloids. Why are you getting so aggressive? I don't know. I get a bit annoyed. Uh, the, the viewers are the lovers. Yeah. Sorry. Spain. Yeah. They are good people what they need. You just give them anger. That's not yeah. right, is it? I can't help it. I'm an angry person. But yeah, um, people just are fucking retards that come to pubs. I don't think they understand <laughs> how to actually fucking anger a drink. <laughs> From a I've, had, I've, to had, retard. I've had someone ask me with, oh, can I get vodka and lemonade, vodka and coke, and then ask me which one's fucking which. Do you know what I mean? It makes no fucking sense. One's white, one's black. Yeah, we all live in unison before someone pubs. But what's white? You served them milk. Well, clear then. Would you say clear? Mm, I'll go with clear. Right. I mean, that's clear. Would well, you that, say that was milk? That looks quite dirty, actually. Dirty. Dirty, <laughs> dirty, dirty um, boy. Old <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what have you awesome. been doing to that shag? I know you love a shag. He did nothing to it, but I did yeah. my ball bag in there about 10 minutes I, ago. I don't, so. you, drink that. you know what shag is like, any bit of action will do. Do you want to ask Stuart a question? Good question. Well, actually, no. The actual, the same question is going to go back to Stuart. What is the weirdest, wildest? Thing that you've seen the at weirdest the bar. wildest what like ever yeah or well what you think is the weirdest and wildest because Liam's one was yeah. oh, I saw someone I mean, I'm sorry, I mean uh, probably the most stupid thing that um, happened to me at a bar it, it actually happened quite recently okay um, so they sort of put their order through and it, it was food and drink and sort of as you do and all that sort of stuff and then I went um, that's £27.56 or whatever it was, just whatever amount it was and they went oh do you want me to pay for it now then I, yeah. I, I wasn't but saying that number as if it was just <laughs> the, the, yeah anyway um, I, I would I've say well that's the weirdest thing what do you, what do you mean I, I wouldn't say weirdest I'll say, I'll say most stupid um, oh most stupid okay one of the most Fantastic things I've seen. Oh, uh, working at bar. It was, uh, it was a place. It's a place called. Um, well, when I worked there, it was called Lot Seventy Five in Shenfield. And um, across the bar, they used to put uh, little tea lights. So they turn all the lights down because yeah. that's trendy and sort of when you're in a wine bar, cool. it's, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. So you put tea lights so people can see it. Uh, very pissed up geezer. Um, I'm actually going to say his name because I always thought he was a bit of a knobhead. To be honest, go ahead. His name is called Waz. So Waz. Yeah, not Wes. <laughs> Was. That was his name. Anyway, he was so pissed one night that um, he was leaning. He was leaning on the bar, trying to chat up. Um, well, a, a, a young lady, a not a young lady, a, 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 a more mature, attractive yeah, lady. A milf. Uh, leaning back. Anyway, what happens is just a massive flame goes up his back. Um, there's smoke everywhere. He set his shirt on fire on the tea light, and we all had to run up and just sort of put all the fucking <laughs> shit out on his shirt. He had to walk out. He had to walk out with a massive fuck off hole on the back of his shirt. Have you ever seen someone get like any sexual intercourse? Though? I've seen a bird get fingered on a dance floor, and I told the bouncers, and then all of them went and watched. I've <laughs> <laughs> seen fingered. one of the podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I've said that. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. I, and I was just like, oh, I was just trying to like do it quite good. Uh, I caught my old boss have sex in a disabled toilet and paid me £200 to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Sorry. I um, <laughs> once saw um, a girl uh, get fingered on the stairs of a nightclub in Brentwood. That's cool. 
but I'm pretty sure that's a norm for yeah. <laughs> most Thursday, Friday, yeah. and Saturday nights in Brentwood. So uh, I saw a girl get fingered in the boys' toilet set of clips. Okay. Well, Shanker just, actually just the fine. when he was meant to be doing his job, he was fingering a girl. That's a fucking um, pig. Actually, no, to be fair, what he's saying there is actually quite bizarre because um, I, don't, I don't really want to talk about her past too much, but certain things have happened with me and a young lady in the yeah, ladies' toilets cool. of a club. Really for a girl, noise, for a girl to go into yeah, a I guess men's, so, it smells more. And you know, yeah. get, can I just say, it was, sorry, it wasn't a nice environment either. The uh, the whole floor was covered in piss and overflow toilet water. Um, yeah, and a bunch of guys going. That, yeah, just yeah, so you know, piss. that was a piss. That was pussy juice. She squirted. <laughs> <laughs> Liam was watching. <laughs> <laughs> it was me. I was the girl, and I squirted. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a goer. I'm a dirty oh. sweatshirt. Right, okay. This one was for whenever you've been on holiday, so pick a decent destination for yourselves. Okay. Uh, to, mm-hmm. the, to the best like, holiday. Are we, going, are we going party holiday or beautiful holiday? Um, have we been or have we not been? That you have been to. Oh, okay. Right. So, <laughs> it's still fucked up. Yeah. Right, so. all, though, didn't you? <laughs> 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 I asked you at first. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> what is the most drunken thing that you've done either on holiday or somewhere that you've loved to be at? Drunkest thing I've ever done on holiday? Yeah. I don't know what. Or um, your favourite place that you've been to? To Oh. Oh. Actually, I just remember one. Um, so. Definitely. Uh, this, this is slightly not. depressing. This is slightly depressing. Um, right. Well done. I'm going to have to give you a minimal therapy for about a month now. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. See, yeah, they knew I that I was about to start talking, so they yeah, put the spotlight on me. Yeah. That was lovely of them. Um, ten years ago, ten years ago, um, I wouldn't say it was the drunkest thing, but I don't really. I'm constantly drunk. Yeah. So doing the craziest thing is just so what drunk. happens anyway. So I would say a scenario where I'm not in my hometown. Um, ten years ago, we just finished sixth form, and it's like, well, yeah, let's all celebrate our results. Yeah, let's all do that. So um, we we booked um, a holiday to Newquay. There was uh, there's 22 of us that went to Newquay, and we stayed in the hostel. The most incredible thing about this hostel is that we booked two rooms. One room had four, the other room had 18. <laughs> That's mental. And because there was only two sort of long term couples, yeah. they had the room of four. Which is probably more narrow than yeah. sort of where we sat now, and because I was part of those couples, so I was there anyway. Anyway, um, one night we we got a bit drunk. We left the club, and you know, you're in no kid, The sun's shining, the moon's looking. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, not the sun shining, but yeah. it's warm, and the the moon is looking beautiful, and all that sort of stuff, and it, it's looking fantastic. So uh, we all thought, oh, we'll get, let's all go for a little skinny dip. Yeah. Let's all do that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, love all that. So anyway, we all stripped down at the start of the beach. So we all, you know, start following their kids. Run down. We all fucking run down. Um, uh, one of the couple's girlfriend, I'm not going to say who, um, she was feeling slightly prudish. As you do. Yeah. So um, she didn't quite join in at first. And after some coaxing, uh, when we're all going, come on, come on, come on, it's amazing, it's amazing, swimming naked, oh, it's, it's so brilliant. liberating, yeah. it's the most amazing thing in the world, it's brilliant. Yeah, so she went, oh, fuck it, yeah, fuck it. Took all her clothes off, started charging down the beach. Um, <laughs> she fell down a hole. That <laughs> an eight-year-old kid had clearly, clearly dug about two o'clock in the afternoon. She went, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like that, like, all you could see was her ass in the moonlight. It was fantastic. It was it was the most brilliant thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, not the most brilliant, but it was incredible how she was so sort of prudish and sort of liberated, but then prudish all over in the space of about 12 seconds. I saw a massive, when I went to UK, and it must have been the same summer, actually, I saw a massive tramp wall, which is still the second moment <laughs> in my life. There was about 30 tramps fighting each other. And then the police came and they all started fighting the police. And it was generally the great, second greatest thing I've ever seen. What's the most drunkest or amazing thing that's happened to you uh, on a uh, destination? Amazing, right? amazing is that tramp thing. So leave okay, that. okay. But yeah. the realistic thing of drunkness, I'm not even proud of this. This is so <laughs> uh, This is what I don't I like, I also like, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Just the, the last spotlight one, just, just went it, off. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this is, is generally why I don't drink anymore. Um, reasons like this. So, I was on tour my second year of uni in Saloon and so basically like you have to you've got costumes and 
like this. Oh, you're was this a uh, rugby basketball. tour? Basketball. So basketball. It was, sorry, it was the, no. whole, the whole university was there. It was the whole university tour. Uh, that tour as well, I was actually on ITV News because there was loads of things saying about kids going up, us going out there drinking and causing mayhem. And we had a thing that if we got interviewed, because they kept trying to interview you, that we, our, nickname, our name would be, all of us were saying, if we get interviewed, we're called Chris Akabusi. <laughs> now, this isn't the this is the start of the drunk bus of the day. I got dick of the day because I'm a dick, and so that's and 70 percent absent was four pound over there. So a lot of the funnel I've been drinking all day anyway. A lot of the funnel was just absent from gin, and I quite like absent, so it was fun. And then I'm um, I'm having a piss, and I see all the boys are getting a couple of the boys are getting interviewed by this camera. And I literally run up, get the camera, a bit Steven Gerrard in and go, I'm Crick Aka fucking Bosey! <laughs> that was the start of the night. That, <laughs> that was probably the start of That the was night. after I'd done a couple of funnels and stuff. That was, was probably was, about half two in the afternoon. No, no, no. <laughs> that was about eight o'clock. Because before then, we were in the um, hotel. So I was really, this is, I'm so disgraced at my behaviour on this tour. Um, we were. And we were doing straight arm drinking, which if anyone doesn't know... Is right, so, yeah, you got and that, you got, right, and so I try just, now? We were all doing that in the hotel, but I started doing it. And I remember a girl just went to me for, I think she was on volleyball, went, oh, you wouldn't act like that in England, would you? I, went, I would have been in a fucking hotel in England, and I threw a bit of meatball out. <laughs> <laughs> when you say a bit of meatball, is that, is that your bit of no, meatball? No, no, no. <laughs> where did, where did meatball. the meatball come from? Because we were yeah. in it. Was in, this was a dinner. Right, oh, okay. And I'll, I'll be honest, this is about six o'clock and I'm fucking steaming by then. So think how I am at eight o'clock. Oh now we get, now I've got the two stories from in a club. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I haven't even told you all this. Um, I was dressed as a terrorist. Fully painted up as well, just so we all understand. There's a picture on Facebook of me passed out. So. Can I get that picture? Um, yeah, yeah, I can sort you out. Um, Russell Brand so got sacked for lesser things yeah, on know. MTV, so yeah. Um, so basically, a girl comes up to, uh, no, this kid comes up to me, this guy, and he's like, Toy, I'm with about the, a couple of rugby boys now, because one of my best mates is a rugby boy, I won't say his name. And he um, comes up and he, he goes, I'll bet you five euros that I can get a girl to show her tits before you. I just go, yeah, sure, that's brilliant. My mate goes, you're going to go and find someone? No, I'm about to see tits on not even going to play him. He comes back, gets tits, we both start. Gets tits. Gets the tits out. <laughs> so he didn't so even see him. No, no, no. He just gets them with him. No, 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 yeah, <laughs> pretty much. But she shows her breasts. Um, we all applaud. He says, give me my five euros. We pretty much say fuck off. <laughs> um, and then I start getting very drunk. I'm drinking a lot by this point. And I pass out. On the, I, I still say I'm having a little nap. But people say I pass out. I, I'm saying nap. Um, I get dragged out by my mates and uh, a couple of the tour like leader people that you know the boffins that go along. Oh, we're going on tour, but they don't even they like might have a shandy. Yeah, <laughs> fucking faggots. And then like so, I'm dragged out and there's like a little bench bit out there. And then my mates like slapping me, and he's like, "You're right, Liam, Liam, you're all right." And I go, "Yeah, mate, I'm fine." And he's like, "You mean serious? We just dragged you out, and you're like, I'm fine." He's like, I was just having a little nap. <laughs> I went back and got fucking smashed. <laughs> and I thought, oh, and then we went, this is quite embarrassing now. I, see, this is really bad for me, this whole thing. I do apologise to anyone that was with me. We went to a big, like, a big global nightclub. And um, so everyone understands, the night before, I got knocked out by a guy. No teeth damage, nothing like that. But I did just get knocked sparko. And I didn't do anything wrong. I literally just raised my glass and a bouncer just knocked me clean out of my mate says it's still the best knockout he's ever seen. <laughs> and but the next night I was pissing on the dance floor, as you do. I was <laughs> waiting for something because you just said a story. Yeah. That didn't but, really go anywhere. Yeah, no, that's why <laughs> I'm saying you you're away. Right, okay, and so I'm, you I was somewhere. pissing on right, the dance right. floor and as I pulled my put my cock away all that, I've walked, I've slipped to my own piss because I'm a retard. <laughs> and I knocked out my tooth there. Oh my so God. <laughs> get knocked out by a bouncer. No teeth gone. Piss in a club and slip on it. And also, about four seconds after, I was sick and I kissed a bird straight afterwards. Oh my god! <laughs> Can't believe <even> piss. <laughs> Thrown up and kiss. Oh, that was the same night. A bit of kids, a chunk of his ear off as well. But that's another story. 
why I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I um I I did once go on a six day bender. Without sleep. Yes, no, I I did I did yeah. have a, 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 a a semi-serious drug problem at the time. Oh, yeah. I, th- I thought it was drinking. No, oh, no, yeah, yeah six-day bed now, about sleep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> then the sixth day was a Sunday, the Sunday afternoon. Um, I tried going to cricket training. <laughs> <laughs> thought I was on the verge of a panic attack. No, not even a panic attack. I was on the verge of a heart attack. Yeah, probably. So I um, had to leave and went home to still go and do more drugs again. <laughs> I found that you thought you was on the verge of a heart attack and just decided to go home and do more drugs. Yes, it was the <laughs> running that was the worst part, not the drugs. It was the running. <laughs> it was the running. Yep. Yeah, the drugs were the good bit, yep. weren't they, for you? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, they're always good for you. Why are they calling them drugs otherwise? Well, well, my next one was going to be a little bit more nicer than the stuff that I've just <laughs> heard. Right, so the next one was uh, what's actually the nicest thing that's happened to you on, like, a holiday or favourite uh, destination? Honest. Uh, I feel both of us are probably going to involve women, so maybe not do that question. Mm, no. Maybe no, the nicest. Nice. So the okay. nicest thing. Yeah. So like, being lovely. Yeah. Um, the nicest thing that's <laughs> ever happened to me um, on holiday. Um, it was uh, my mum's 60th, so it was last year. It was last June time um, for her 60th. We went to Sardinia. Okay. And uh, my little niece Isla, um, she just sort of started crawling. She was on the verge of walking. And all that sort of stuff. And before we went away, she was terrified of me. It was the long hair, the beard, the black clothing. She she was so scared of me. After about day two or day three, around the swimming pool, she came up to me and she sort of hugged me and let me sort of actually sort of play with her around Aww. the swimming pool. And uh, it was the most amazing thing in the world. And now we're all cool and she's not scared of me anymore. That's adorable. So I love the, the, the most fantastic thing in the whole world. She's so beautiful and that's what it was. That's um, adorable. I like yeah, that. Follow that up, bitch. My mum and, <laughs> uh, and dad got married and I was the best man. And it was really nice. Sadly, though, two days before that, Tupac died. So that's a bit upset. Yeah, that's been a really young best man. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was only like a little family holiday, but they went. we went to Vegas and got married. Oh, that's cool. Got married and um, met Lenny Henry. On that night, no way. Uh, we chose not to be on his ready, steady cook or whatever it was. Cause my <laughs> <laughs> not Lenny Henry. What's the other one? Oh, I thought you were making a joke. No, what? I'm so excited. I got a wrong. I got a wrong. He's there, but we chose not to be on it. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> he does have the biggest, oh, meatiest yeah. helmet. Two, by the way, guys. two female, oh, no, two female no, listeners. Yeah, no. this man is the top, top, top shagger. Why do you think he's called Shagger? Yeah. that's his nickname at work. Do you know what? Also, he's the master of sixty-nine. Yeah, do you fancy a sixty-nine? Ring this guy because <laughs> he will give you the best in the world. Yeah, it's true. Do you know what I mean? It's going to happen. Cool he is. It's going to happen. It happened to me. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even realise. He slipped in, I didn't I even just, I, just, I just went down the road to buy the Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his fucking place, getting 69. It was amazing. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was emotional. There was no cock in mouth, and we didn't take our clothes off. You're a good guy like that, ain't you? But, you know, yeah, it's it quite enjoyable. I'll, I'll be honest, like, he... I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be working at a bar. Me and Stu were there. I would say we're quite good looking. That's what would you say, Stu? Um, I think we're all right. And we try and just even serve women, and they're like, no, we want shagger. And they're just all following him around. So he, when he's doing glasses, they're literally just like a conga line of women just following him. <laughs> and you, all you hear him say is, what an arse. What an arse. And I've, I've even tried joining the conga line so I could get like some, I'll be honest, groupie. Like, do you know what I mean? A bit of like, yeah, maybe I'll get one. He can't have 99 every night. And they just like, fuck off, Liam, you cunt. I'm like, Oh, and I've even I've spoke to Shagger personally, but I don't mind talking about it. I'm like, have you got any tips? And he's like, if I'm honest, Liam, you're just born with it. So, to the ladies out there, I don't know. He's, so he's pretty out much there. a certified G, ain't he? I don't. Fat lad show. Fat lad show. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? At the end of the day. Have you thought about calling yourself the white Biggie Smalls? So, I have not... <laughs> what do I even call this? I mean... <laughs> 
the fat lad show. No. Just, 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 do what I'm doing. Just look, I'm doing what you're doing. Just look straight yeah. at the camera like this. Like, we're really serious. Because, oh, okay, oh, God. I, I generally have no idea what has just gone on. Because I asked some questions. To be fair, I, I don't think I expected any different answers than what has just occurred. So, <laughs> that is it from me sure, this week. Sure, he's really shit at this, isn't he? You can't sign up for it all. I'm, I was literally just about to say it. That's, that's what Should I was going to say. That's it from me. That's it from me. And the fat... Lad. Show. My killers will not take no for an answer.